Good evening, welcome to Thursday's programme. First tonight, it is the biggest case of its kind ever prosecuted in the country. Five men were sentenced for stealing lead from church roofs right across the East Midlands. Five of them were jailed. Between them, the men, all from Lithuania, have stripped 20 of our churches of 70 tonnes of lead. Well, today the judge told them they couldn't care less about the impact on communities. He said, all you care about is making money. Joe Healy reports. One harsh reality behind the lead thefts, they're huddled in their church overnight, guarding it. It's Hotham Church near Grantham and had its roof stripped three times in less than a year. It sends your senses right down, you know, through your boots is the best way I can describe it. You just, you just feel absolutely uh, abused. Multiply their heartache by 20, that's the number of churches across our region from Lincolnshire to Leicestershire and into Nottinghamshire, who've suffered. Between them, the thieves stole 70 tonnes of lead from church roofs. They sold it for some £70,000, but the damage they caused the churches amounts to five times that. So how did they catch them? Well, the police stopped two suspicious vehicles on the A46 a few miles from here. They were weighed down with lead, and some of it had come from the roof of this church here in Hoffham. The police could identify the lead because the churches had marked it with invisible smart water. And one of the culprits was identified because his DNA was found on a cigarette butt he'd left on a church roof. They were clearly going out determined um, to, to steal and, and there was evidence in the investigation that highlighted that they were um, going out looking for churches to attack. Well today at Lincoln Crown Court, five of the men, all from Lithuania but living in Lincoln, were given sentences ranging from seven years to 22 months. The judge talked of the impact, the desecration. He told them, you couldn't care less about those feelings, all you cared about was making money.